1977 when that hadn't officially been made a rule yet. Now, this next part is going to talk a lot about dropkicks. Um, actually, oh. I would just like to say that I would like to refer to evidentiary exhibit C. This is a boarding pass from WestJet flight to Calgary that I was on. Calgary is not Vancouver. Therefore, I left town. Fuck you, science. Okay. I'm just gonna have to get you to just, just, just calm down and stop talking. Stop. Talking is for closers. And if you were a closer, we wouldn't be here right now. Okay. Now, I would like to bring up on my side of things something very close to the point that I think that you're trying to make, and that is that on the night in question, elite Canadian championship wrestling was operating in the Russian Cultural Center. And on that day, one Christopher Cassidy went as a representative for my client to the Russian embassy and had it decreed that the Russian Cultural Center on that date, on that time, in that place, was actually Russian soil. So, when my client was escorted from the ring in which the two of you were competing, out through the audience and out of the doors, she was actually stepping foot from Russia and into Canada. Elite Canadian Championship Wrestling. Russian Cultural Center. Not the same place. My client upheld her side of the contract that she had signed on that date and time. And furthermore, nowhere in that contract did it stipulate whatsoever that either side of the equation could not come back to said town at an appropriate time with permission from both sides of the argument, which is why we are here today asking permission from that other side. <clears throat> Ms. Matthews. Oh, I don't give a shit. So, so, so she can come back? Are we back? We're back! Yes! Oh! Yeah, but like, next time, don't waste five hours of my life and just Snapchat me. That's ten seconds long. Okay. <clears throat> I think you broke my hands. Sangria? Bless you. <laughs>